Hey up YouTubers, Simon B here, welcome back to the channel, hope you're all keeping safe out there. Just the start of October now and um, it's getting a little bit cold isn't it? This week I'm going to give you a bit of insight of how to keep warm on your motorcycle. Because I know a few of you lot will be putting your bikes away soon, but this might help you to carry on riding throughout the winter. So if you fancy a bit of that, as they say, stick around, stay tuned. <laughs> Yeah, so it's the 8th of October, the Saturday, just recording this video, and um, it's supposed to, it was getting a little bit cold. Heating's not on yet, um, but the sun's shining, and it's like, all right. So anyway, how to keep warm on your motorcycle. Loads of ways to keep warm on your motorbike. You don't have to spend a lot of money. There's a few things that might help you keep warm that you may not know about. There were some people out there saying, I don't get cold on a motorbike. You do get cold. There's nothing worse than getting cold while you're out on your motorbike. If you're riding your motorcycle out there and it's cold between what, six and eight degrees, below double figures, and you're doing 60, 70 mile an hour, as you should be on the road, the wind chill factor of that will be taking you to at least round about minus one. So running around at minus one on your motorcycle for an hour, two hours, three hours, is gonna make you cold, no matter what. There's various ways to defeat that and I'm going to show you a few things of what to wear and a few things not to wear. So things not to wear. There's a material that you shouldn't be wearing on your motorcycle when you get below double figures. That material is cotton. There's a lot of people out there will wear a t-shirt underneath a biking jacket, underneath a fleece and wear it next to your skin. And cotton absorbs water. It absorbs water but it doesn't let water go which is not good for when you're wearing it next to your skin. Cotton's great in a towel when you get out of the shower, you've been swimming baths, you get out of the bath and you towel yourself dry. But when you get hold of that towel, what is it? Soaking wet. So wearing cotton next to your skin is not gonna expel the water away. It will hold the water next to your skin and then end up making you feel cold. So you shouldn't be wearing cotton next to your skin when you're riding your motorbike. People say, oh yeah, I wear it all the time. I know. People do, but you shouldn't be wearing it because it makes you feel cold. It holds the water and then it'll just get colder and colder and colder and it'll take all the heat out of your body. So if you can't wear cotton, what should you be wearing? Well, there's two alternatives. So you'd be asking, if I can't wear cotton, what should I be wearing? Well, there's two alternatives. One is a sort of a okay alternative, but not the best. And then there is a better version of what you should be wearing and material. The first material that you should be wearing is something something like this. This is an alternative fabric to wear next to your skin. It does its job, but it's not as good as something else I'm going to show you. Now this is polyester, so this is plastic. So you're wearing plastic next to your skin. Better than wearing cotton next to your skin, because this will take, this, take the water and the sweat away from your body and expel it. You don't have to be spending great lots of money on something like this. Anything made out of polyester, well, plastic, will take away the moisture away from your skin. So polyester will do the job. Doesn't do it as well as something else. That something else is called wool. Sheep wear it for a reason. And the reason they wear it is it keeps them cool in the summer and it keeps them warm in the winter. So why don't we take something from them sheep and wear it ourselves? The best woolen material that you can buy and to wear next to your skin is something made out of merino wool. Merino wool is from merino sheep. So the merino sheep was originally from Spain in the 16th, 18th century. Um, mostly of the population of merino sheep now are based out in Australia and it produces a soft wool, unlike the sheep that we have in this country, which produces a bit of a coarse wool. Merino wool next to the skin is the best thing that you can wear whilst riding your bike. This will not only keep you warm, it will take the moisture away from your skin, it will expel it because of the way that the wool is constructed, the fibres in it, it, it extracts the water out of it. You can look into it and it's, it's fantastic um, science behind merino wool. 
it comes in various different grades. This is this is a cycling top from uh, Wiggle. I'll put all this information down in the, in, in the description below where you can get this from. This is a 200 gram uh, weight, so it, it's it's going into a sort of a winter weight. So it's it, it, it's a base layer. Now people say it's expensive. It is expensive, but I can't disagree with you that. But it's brilliant. But even if you're at work, even when you're out walking, this stuff, you don't just buy it for your for your bike. Is, is the best thing you, you can wear. It's like being hugged and being kept warm. It's really good. So this is a 200 gram uh, base layer. This is a, a DHB, which is Wiggles own brand. The thing about cycling wear, it does run a little bit um, smallish because it needs to be tight. So if, if, you, if you are in a medium, I would buy a large um, from the description below. So this thing's gonna set you back around about 39 pound from uh, Wiggle. Last time I bought one, I've got a couple of these. So that's a 200 grammer at the moment so I'm wearing underneath this it's um, a merino wool t-shirt and I bought this about four months ago I worn it on the trip to Scotland underneath my Mar Marrakesh and it's absolutely brilliant I love it I wear it all the time because it's just great some of the best merino wool base layers are made by Icebreaker which is from Australia but one of the most expensive ones um, that long sleeve there if you bought that in a 200 gram from icebreaker it costs you about 75 quid is there any difference mm, possibly i don't know i've not really seen an icebreaker um but at 40 quid it's it's a good bargain the other thing if anybody's ever seen um which i've just had sent sent today well not really sent i did buy it um it's a company called isobar just what this make is they're currently um, on offer at the moment on the website you'd be paying ooh, about 60 quid for i think these are 29 quid so this is this is um a gray i think it's a 160 it's a 160 uh, merino base layer um absolutely brilliant it's, it's off um a website called sports pursuit one of those um special offer uh, places i'll put a link in the description down below but yeah merino wool you need to be wearing that next to your skin you can wear polyester but it's plastic it does the job but doesn't do it as good as merino and you can spend a fortune on merino but these are the these are the alternatives that you can and i'm sure places like mountain warehouse do a merino but theirs is still the same price as that and the same price as that and is it as good? I don't know. I know that is 100% merino and that's 100% merino. Don't go for a blend. It needs to be 100% and wear that next to your skin. And I'm telling you, it's, it's, it's game changing. It is absolutely game changing. So that's the stuff that you need to be wearing next to your skin to keep yourself warm. From your base layer, you need to be wearing something else. What that something else is entirely up to you, depending on what sort of temperature you're going to be riding in and how cold you sort of really do get. There's a lot of down jackets out there at the moment. Um, this is a synthetic down. This is Rab. You can, if you fancy one of these, yes, I know Rab can be quite expensive, but so can everything else. But you go looking, you can find a decent price. This is synthetic down, not as good as duck, and especially if, you, if you're if using either duck. So if you were in your merino base layer, your 200 gram merino base layer, and something like this, and then your, your motorcycle jacket over the top of it, you could be riding in five degrees. No problem at all won't have a problem with that as long as the jacket you've got is going to keep the wind out but we'll talk about that after there's loads of makes about that's a rab i think this which i wear for work now and again when it's a bit cold was from primark it's synthetic down it does the sort of same similar sort of job and i think it was 20 quid it does the job no problem doesn't do the job as good as that it's a little bit thicker it's probably not as warm it probably doesn't keep you as warm then if you went for a duck down which is even more expensive, it's still not going to do the job as good as that, as good as that. So it's entirely up to you what exactly you want to spend. There's various motorcycle um, jacket manufacturers out there that do a duck down. There's the Climb, um, Rucker, Reesha's just brought one out, and some of them are a £200. But that's what you pay if you were going out to buy a decent rab jacket for uh, walking. A decent down jacket, you'd be paying £200 for it. If you do a bit of walking, you already have one, you don't need to buy one. It's what you can wear. Your merino wool with your down jacket is going to keep you absolutely toasty and warm, absolutely brilliant. 
The good thing I like about this, it's got a, short, a small collar on it, because nothing worse than wearing, wearing a collar and a collar and a collar on your jacket. So that's your second layer. This is all about layering, and, and between the layers, between that layer and your skin, there's air, there's air. Between that and this, there's air. But in this, there's air, and that's what you need to keep yourself warm, to warm them layers up to keep you warm. But then you also need to keep the wind out. So as well as keeping the air warm inside you, you need to keep the wind out of you to stop you from going cold because like I say the wind chill factor is somewhere around about eight nine degrees running at 60 70 mile an hour is going to make it feel like about minus one minus two that's the facts you might not believe me but it's out there that's what happens um so there's another way that you can keep the wind out so instead of having three layers you could wear two layers and something on the outside of your motorcycle jacket some motorcycle jackets aren't the best at keeping the wind out but something that's as thin and light as the Scott waterproof which we keep talking about not only keeps you dry but it also adds another layer to your motorcycle wear so by wearing this on the outside of your jacket you create another layer between this and your jacket this will stop all the wind from coming anywhere near and cooling you down so that's an alternative that you could wear on the outside of your jacket if you don't have anything to put on the inside of your jacket you may have another waterproof, it doesn't have to be a Scott waterproof, anything that's waterproof is going to be windproof and that will keep the wind out which will enable you to keep warm. I'll put a description down below of where we get them from. They're the best waterproof jackets that you can buy, I believe. Um, I've got the pants to match it as well and they're absolutely awesome and all they do is pack down into something like that. If you don't want to layer, there is another alternative that you can do. Now you can go electric. I've heard out there by wearing electric clothing on your motorbike turns you soft. Well, it doesn't really. Um, it just makes you feel better. Being warm on your bike makes you more comfortable. It makes you aware of your surroundings and it keeps you alert. And it would probably stop you from maybe having an accident by keeping warm. What alternative electric can you get? Well, there's, there's a full array. Um, I've done a couple of videos, if you haven't seen them, I'll put them on the screen up there somewhere. They were done a couple of years ago, so the, the acting in them videos isn't, isn't the best, but it gives you an overall um, insight into um, electric. I'm, I'm thinking of doing it again. But what I wear is, is the warm and safe heated base layer. Now, there's loads of manufacturers out there that do electric. A lot of them do jackets. Now, my thing with electric jacket is why do you want a jacket underneath a jacket? A jacket's going to give you an, another collar. Why do you want another collar underneath the collar that you've already got, which then will restrict your movement of your neck to looking around? I hate it. I don't like it. That's why I went for the base layer. This base layer has the heat. This base layer has the heating elements in the neck, so I get a warm neck out of it. I think this manufacturer's case. Gerbing, there's all sorts of things, but most of them do jackets and they do gilets. Base layer, best thing you can get. Once you take your jacket off, you can wear your base layer, it just looks like a normal base layer. Yes, it can be washed. I've washed it a couple of times now since I've had it, I've had it a couple of years. Um, not the cheapest thing in the world. I've got a description of where you get these from, from down below, which will keep you absolutely toasty. If you don't want to be spending money on merino wool base layers, on more layers, duck down uh, jackets, go electric. It's absolute godsend, I'm telling you. From the base layer, what complements with the base layer is the gloves. So Warm and Safe make the heated inner gloves to complement the base layer. So everything of this isn't bulky. This is what I like about the Warm and Safe. It's not, there's no bulk to it. The only problem is with um, buying these inner gloves is that you're going to have to buy another pair of gloves which is probably a size if not two sizes bigger than you've already got to wear these underneath. Within the arms of the base layer you have the wire there it is, which plugs into the glove itself and if you have the dual controller that you can get with a warm, warm and safe you can control the base layer and control the glove separately. You don't have to because as it wires in in the gubbins here you can put them on the same um, heat setting so you don't have to buy the, the double controller but I bought the double controller because I knew that I was going to go further on so that is the other extreme 
which will keep you absolutely toasty and warm. They are a weird um, thing to wear because when you put them on, they don't go red hot and you think they're not working. But as soon as you turn them off, your hands go cold, so you know they're working. Link in the description box below uh, where you can find these from as well. These were bought from my um, favorite place, uh, Mortal Legends. There's a few other places in the country that are selling this stuff. I've had it a couple of years now. I've had no problems at all with them, with the warm and surf base layer. And it's, 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 like, it's like Merino, it's just game changing. But again, it's expensive. There'll be comments down below it's too expensive i can't afford that well why not why can't you afford it this will last you 10 years you know what i mean it's um, i can't remember what the price of this is just i think probably just gone up like everything else has at the moment um the full kit up could be 300 quid probably a little bit more but 10 years worth out of it 30 pound a year you can't even buy a merino wool base layer for 30 quid um so yeah Great investment, enable you to ride through some, through summer, through summer. Great investment, enable you to ride right through winter, a heated base layer and gloves to match. Absolutely game changing. So there you go, YouTubers. Something to think about. Um, instead of putting your bike away for winter, why not get yourself a new base layer, an insulated jacket, even a bit of electric. You better ride all year round. Our winters are not as cold as what we think they are at the moment. I know people at the moment, beginning of October, oh, I'm thinking of putting my bike away. For the last three years, on a boxing day, I've been out riding on my motorbike, and it's been 11 degrees. I went out this morning, 5th of, 5th of October. I went out this morning, it's the 8th of October, Saturday, and it was 6 degrees. It was warmer last boxing day than it was this morning. I went out today, but nobody rides a boxing day. Why not? Twice last year, I think I scraped ice off the car and I live in the Lake District. Our winters are not what they, what they were. Yes, they're still a little bit chilly and a bit cold. These garments that we just talked about will enable you to be able to ride while it gets cold. There's a lot of people out there that don't like to have the bike sat in the garage over winter and not riding it and thinking, what a waste of money. Well, get yourself some different clothing and get yourself out there because it's not cold as you think. So thank you very much for watching it to the end. Hope you enjoyed it. If you thought that was an interesting video and give you an insight into um, something a little bit different, please give it a big thumbs up. All the description of everything we talked about, I'll put in the description box below, which if you're watching this on a computer, it's called description and everything's there with all the links. Everybody keeps asking me where's the stuff you get it from. It's all down there. If, you, if you're watching this on a smart TV, I don't think it's there. So you'll have to go on your phone or onto the computer. Um, if you just stumbled across us again, please, do us a favour, click that subscribe button, ring that bell. I'd be very humbled if you do that for me. That would be awesome. If you'd like to support the channel, um, there's a link down below, uh, buy me a coffee. Um, it's not compulsory. Any comments, anything you'd like to say? What are you guys and girls wearing? Come on, comment down below. Do you ride all year round or do you put your, your bike away for six months of the year? Get yourself out, get yourself some ACF 50 on your bike, get some of these clothes bought and get yourself out. Today it's 14 degrees, sun's out, brilliant. Don't be sat at home thinking, oh, I wish I could go out on my bike, get some decent clothes, think a little bit differently. So yeah, once again, thanks very much for watching. If you're riding out there, don't forget, ride safe, keep safe and be safe. And as they say, we'll see you soon. Like and subscribe. subscribe.